Sometimes there are no right or wrong decisions, only decisions you make right. We are constantly making decisions. In fact, Rescue Time, a productivity tool, analyzed over 225 million hours of working time in 2017. And they found the average user switches between tasks more than 300 times per day. So AJ, I don't know about you, but for myself, indecision is probably the pet peeve that makes me the most upset. And I certainly can see it in myself and it angers me. And when I see it in other people, it angers me. Because a lot of times it's the anxiety and nervousness and second guessing that we're having over indecision is usually self-induced. And of course, when I think about that process and the emotional state it puts me in, I also know that that whole scenario was self-induced. For a lot of us, that's due to decision fatigue. It's when you have too many decisions that you have to make. And I love going to a restaurant and when the menus get handed out, yep. looking around at the table and just watching everyone go through every little decision they have to make. Not me. <laughs> well, you have, <laughs> you have a trick that we'll share a little bit later to that as well. And in large part, it's because throughout the day, we are always making decisions. Mm -hmm. The problem is that when those decisions pile up and there's a little bit of indecision, then all of a sudden it can feel overwhelming to even make one decision, let alone multiple decisions. And if you're constantly having to decide what to wear, what to eat, what to pack, all these things, they deplete your willpower to actually make amazing decisions. So we've had a number of successful people on the show. We've even heard the stories of Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs wearing yeah. the same thing to remove remove the number of decisions that they have to make on a daily basis so they can use that willpower towards the most important decisions. Now we can use these same principles in our own life to combat decision fatigue. But some of the symptoms of decision fatigue are stress, anxiety, mm -hmm. indecision. So yes. you just don't wanna make a decision, you don't wanna move forward. So when we're feeling this malaise and it's certainly popping up around basic decisions like what to eat, you may be suffering from decision fatigue. So what we wanna do is give you all a few things that you can do to help with decision fatigue. Certainly one of them is limiting your decisions. The reason we were laughing earlier of uh, that I don't have decision fatigue or deal with decision at a restaurant, because if I'm with this guy, I'll just have him order two. Why? Because he's a foodie. I know he's already done the research, he knows the best dish, and I've been caught too many times ordering for myself only to be marveling at what he had gotten. Yeah, outsource decisions <laughs> to people who are better at them than you. Another one, having to limit the amount of decisions you have to make when traveling. What I actually did is I started going through the rigmarole of trying to figure out what to pack, always overpacking, coming back from trips, having not used certain items. So what I started doing was I had a list of everything I packed, and then if I did not use it, I would drop it down to a lower list. And if it stayed on that list, three, four trips that I knew I didn't need to pack it. Yeah, and studies have also shown that you have the most power to make those decisions and be able to focus early on in the day. So if you have decisions to be making, early in the day is the best time that you can be making them. So how do we do that? Well, we have to create space in the morning to be decisive. And what that means is limiting the amount of decisions around breakfast, what to wear to the gym, what, when you're gonna answer your email, what the first task of today should be. If you actually take that space the night before to lay out your gym clothes, to figure out what you're gonna have for breakfast, to identify the one biggest task you need to get done the next day, you've now primed the pump for that first decision to be the most important decision of the day so you can actually have the willpower to blast through. So, number one, outsource decisions that you don't enjoy making. Number two, pre-pack for everything so you don't have to worry about decision fatigue when you're getting ready to travel. And number three, of course, the big one, is create habits so that the first decision of the day is the most important decision. You're not deciding what to eat, what to wear. All those small decisions drain our willpower and overwhelm us with decision fatigue. Well, does anyone really need 20 different peanut butters to choose from or 20 different spaghetti sauces to choose from? Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, a lot of peanut butter. A lot of peanut butter. If you enjoy our videos, please hit the subscribe link. And also hit the bell notification so you'll be updated when we send out those notifications. And also, feel free to share them with your friends. See ya. Peace.